Hey, I'm going to show you a quick video on how to use a Glowforge to cut used cotton t-shirts into breathing masks. I will note there's not a whole lot of evidence that these breathing masks are particularly effective, but they do seem to reduce your chances of passing the, a virus on to somebody else. Okay, I'm going to try doing some laser cutting on a t-shirt to try and cut out some masks. So I'm going to engrave this on my Glowforge. This is an old t-shirt of mine. I'm choosing to cut the back side inside because the front side has a whole bunch of stuff on it. This was a really great bike ride. If I cut out the back, there's no interesting printing on it, so the laser will do a better job. So over here, here's my glow fort. Here you can see all the material held down with a bunch of pretty nice magnets that I got, off, I got out of China at some point. So I push the go button and let's see what it does. Maybe I should have gotten the uh, material flatter. This is a 100% cotton shirt. Apparently I had good taste in my bike rides. When I'm cutting a new material, I make it a habit of cutting several different holes that have different power settings, and beside each one I put what the power setting is, so that when they're all cut out, I can see the results. And here's a picture of the Inkscape picture that I'm using to do that. So you can see the numbers that it's cutting in, engraving. That is the percent power that it's going to be using when it actually cuts through. So the 100, the 80, and the 70 cut completely out without any problem at all. You can see the 60% and the 50% here still have some threads. The plus side of this, in fact I'm probably going to go with either 60 or 70, is that these you can kind of pull loose and they don't actually get sucked out in the process of cutting. So here are the 50 and 60% and you can see the ragged edge on the 40%. Those are probably too low, so based on this, I think the 70% here that just pulled right out but didn't actually get blown away is probably the right choice. I downloaded a mask from the internet, a mask pattern that has some sewing selvage so that you can sew them together. It required a little bit of cleanup, so you can see me here adjusting some of the edges after tracing it. They adjusted pretty nicely with Inkscape's tools. And then I uploaded the whole works to the Glowforge app with some characteristics that you can see off to the left. And it's done! How long did that take? Five seconds? I guess the other part of this is how easily does it come out, and we're about to find out. Oh, a little bit of sticking. Still, not too bad.